Hello guys, this is a video looking at the 15 years of history of LEGO Mindstorms platform. You can see I have four sets here. Now these four sets are far from complete. There should be two more core sets that, and a, also a number of expansion sets LEGO released for the first generation of Mindstorms. So let me tell you what I have here on this very, very left. The screen box is the first generation and first ever LEGO Mindstorm set. This, uh, what I have here is actually not the commercial release. This is the education set called the Robolab. And as for the commercial release, it was made available uh, in September 1998 and called the Robotics Invention System. And the difference is probably in between these sets are probably only in the building elements where uh, commercial release have more decorative pieces and education sets are more focused on education purpose and one good thing about the education set is it is sold in this easy to travel storage box and they're organized inside and very uh, much easier than having to buy a box yourself to put the commercial release in them and uh, in this first generation we are introduced to the First ever intelligent brick, Mindstorm intelligent brick. This is called the RCX 1.0, and uh, and you're also we're also introduced with this blue light sensor. It looks like kind of the original Lego brick, but it's a light sensor, and you have a cable attached to it for providing power to the light sensor. We are also introduced to this new touch sensor here for the first generation. And back then USB wasn't a very common thing as today so Lego had to use serial connection to send the programs you made to the RCX and they came up with a solution to use the infrared. So this is a infrared tower that sends the programs you made from PCs to the RCX and RCX has the infrared receiver at the top of the, uh, on the top so we receive the program from the IR tower and ex you can execute the program in the brick so this is pretty much it for the oh, and you have the cube shaped motor which I'll show you in a minute yeah, which uh, also came along in the first set and that's pretty much it for the first set in the first generation and the next set an update to the first set is called the robotics invention system 1.5 and was released in 19, uh, September 1999 and the RCX got a slight modification uh, but generally stayed the same is it's called the RCX 1.5 and another update to the second set in the first first generation is the robotics invention system 2.0 which was released in february 2000 and of course those two sets the 1.5 and the 2.0 are the two core sets that i'm missing so let me tell you about this guy here this is the signature humanoid robot for the Robotics Invention System 1.5 and this guy is called the Inventor Bot and on board there is two motors one uh, one touch sensor and the RCX Intelligent, intelligent Brick and I'll give you guys a closer look to this so you have the two legs this is the slap arm you have the hat arm RCX as a body, two eyes. This is the head arm. So you can turn this robot by the waist, like this. And this is the cube shaped motor that I'm talking about. So it drives the turning on the waist. And you have the slap arm here. This is the head arm, which basically takes off the head and puts it back on, like this. And you also have a motor at the back, this. 
and this is the another touch sensor here so this is the signature humanoid robot inventory bot for the RCX 1.5 and this pretty much concludes the first generation and of course you also had a number of uh, expansion sets which well, I also don't have so now I'm moving on to the second generation and the second generation is called the LEGO Mindstorm NXT and the first set was released on August 19, uh, 2006 and with this new generation they got completely redesigned the every aspect of the Mindstorms and first of all of course is the most important thing is the intelligent brick right here the, this is the NXT intelligent brick and to this you have three inputs the USB connection to the right for button operation, the speaker for uh, outputs, and of course you still need six batteries to power this guy. So and Lego also added Bluetooth connection to the new NXT brick, but the software that controls this was much lim very much limited and the cell phones that could install the uh, Bluetooth app uh, was also very limited and the experience was not as great as the EV3 net right now so and they can also redesign all the sensors and motors and uh, two sensors were added to a new sensor added to the new generation the ultrasonic sensor, this guy here, and for detecting proximity of objects and sound sensor, this guy here, for measuring the noise level, and they also released a converter cable so that the previous My uh, Mindstorm generation, the RCX generation, so they could use the uh, the motors and sensors in for the uh, in the NXT brick with the NXP brick. So and this is the hum uh, signature humanoid robot for the uh, NXT, and it's called the Alpha Rex. And on board there is a sound sensor, touch sensor, a light sensor, ultrasonic sensor, and three interactive servo motors on him. And Alpha Rex moves on its two feet kind of shuffles when it moves and tilting its body to the left or right to keep the balance. The two arms also move when it starts walking to make it look like a walking person. I'll give you guys a closer look of this. This Alpha Rex. So you have the ultrasonic sensor as the head and also like the two eyes. The uh, NXT intelligent brick, the new sound sensor, the touch sensor. You have the light sensor at the back, three interactive servos, two for the leg and one for the two arms. So this is the Alpha Rex. So moving on to the next set is the NXT Lego Mindstorm NXT 2.0, which was released in August 2009. How was this new release? The light sensor was up upgraded to the color sensor which detects six different colors while still keeping the light sensor ability to detect ambient and reflected light. The color sensor also added the function as being a lamp. And the sound sensor was removed unfortunately from this release and replaced by a touch sensor. So you have three touch sensor in the NXT 2.0. The in, uh, NXT intelligent bricks did not change. The connected cable also stay the same. Lego and high tech also during the period also released a number of advanced sensors that you have to buy separately, such as the infrared link sensor, infrared seeker, compass sensor, gyroscopic sensor, accelerometer sensor, temperature sensor, etc. And they were pretty expensive, ranging from uh, 50 to 70 bucks uh, USD and it's pretty expensive but they were mostly for education purposes 
So the signature robot here is still called the Alpha Rex, uh, but it's modified. And so on board you have the color sensor, ultrasonic sensor, three interactive servo motors, and uh, two touch sensors. So the movement are still pretty much the same, but the legs look more sturdy, and yeah, the two arms are now joined together to form one. So I'll give you guys a closer look. This is the ultrasonic sensor, the NXT intelligent brick, the color sensor here, and three interactive servos, and two touch sensor here. This is the still Alpha Rex, but modified, and this looks more human because of the these decorative pieces. And this pretty much concludes the second generation of the Lego Milestone platform. So moving on to the new uh, latest set, the Lego Mindstorms EV3, the third generation, which is the newest and the best, and it should be. So the new for the new EV3, there were new, uh, new features, numerous new items and redesigned features. The most important, of course, is the addition of th this new in EV3 intelligent brick. The new EV3 brick has four inputs and four outputs compared to the previous NXTs. Only had three inputs and the Bluetooth it was also built in. And now there's a new option of using Wi-Fi communication through a Wi-Fi dongle. And of course that needs a USB port, which uh, the AV3 also has, which is on the left side of the intelligent book, which I'll show you later. And uh, with this new USB port, it's good for a number of things. You can use it to connect to a Wi-Fi dongle uh, to receive and send programs or data and flash drive to connect to a flash drive for expanded memory and daily chain the EV3 to do more advanced programming and do more more stuff, more advanced stuff and you're also able to connect to a Windows 8.1 tablet if you have one and you can do more, much more advanced programming with the connected tablet uh, which Microsoft showed off uh, with their sentry bot in the uh, in their build conference this year so you can take uh, go google it and you can probably find a video of that and you can use it to connect also there is also the new SD card slot which for expanded memory and a improved speaker and the USB connector is also changed to the micro USB and uh, the news new sensors in this set is the infrared sensor here the infrared sensor at the top this is a new sensor which replaces the ultrasonic sensor from the previous generation and, but you could still buy the EV3 version of ultrasonic sensor here, which cost, would cost you roughly 32 bucks from the Lego Education website. And there's also another new sensor. It's only available in the Education set, but you, you also could buy it separately, which would cost you around 30 bucks. This is the EV3 gyro, gyro sensor. And it's good, very good for calculating movements and stuff and angle. And uh, of course, you can buy that from the Lego Education website. And the another addition to the EV3 is this infrared beaker here. You can use it as a IR remote to, to use it as a IR remote to control the robot or as a IR beacon. That sends out the IR signal for the IR sensor over there to pick up and this leads to the new IR sensor function which I'll tell you the IR sensor is not only good for 
picking up the uh, proximity it also picks up the IR signal from the IR beacon and gives the int uh, intelligent brick its bearing and uh, direction uh, bear bearing and, and proximity so that like in this case the Everstorm can detect the this the uh, where the IR beacon are and shoot the balls from the uh, blast name lookout to destroy this IR beacon so the uh, good thing about the new generation is the cable connector cable are still the same they are for the NXD they look like the internet cables at your home but they are very good so that means you could have a forward and backward compatibility forward and backward compatibility with the NXT and EV3 so the EV3 can use the old NXT sensors and motors and the uh, NXT could use the new EV3 sensors and motors so it's a very nice feature to have and of course the Bluetooth uh, connect connection is also for, uh, functionality are greatly enhanced in this generation so you have the this Lego Commander app which can control the robots they already built like the Everstorm here to use through control it through Bluetooth or you can create your own robot and you create a your own in the uh, Bluetooth control interface in this Lego Commander app which is available for iOS and Android devices so the signature robot for this set is the Everstorm and it's much simpler than the previous two moves on its belt this rubber belt and you have the blasting bazooka here the IR sensor license light sensor on, on the right and touch sensor at the, on the left shoulders so this is the Everstorm and it's pretty much very amazing to see the how LEGO, the generation of LEGO Mindstorm has evolved from the old RCX to the new EV3 intelligent brick it really reflects how the technology has advanced over the years and this concludes my brief look at the 15 years of the LEGO Mindstorm platform thank you for watching